Hello? Hey, hey, hey. Yug, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Let me load this. Let Yo. me see something. Hey, it's Builder hey. Argus. Hey! Let me see something. Can you guys say something? Something. Hello, Jeff. <laughs> you guys are in the stream. You well, guys are going through the stream. For, for that is you, a... maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, like, dude, this is this is insane. This is insane. I what is this thing, anyway? So, here, did you ever heard about it before or no? Uh-uh. Okay, so, so you just create the wallet, install the uh, node edge, and you jump in to watch. That's what he did? He didn't even create a wallet, really. Yeah, he, I didn't You don't need wallet. a wallet to watch. Just installed the node edge. Yeah. Yeah, but you need to have that running. Well, that... yeah, he is running it, but he doesn't need a wallet to watch. Yeah, you do. No, I could watch streams before I created the wallet. Right, but here is the thing. <clears throat> oh, I just died in my own game. Okay, here is the thing. You can want. It's because now, Theta TV is working like a hybrid, right? So you have this. It, it kind of works like Twitch. So there are some people in the website that are streaming, and you can go straight to those streams and watch through the website. And that works like Twitch. But if you are streaming through the node edge, the person that is streaming and the, per the people that are watching, they need to have that node running. So that's why you guys are probably not seeing it. Well, I do have it running. Okay, so, so did you guys... Uh, let me see. I posted a video. Uh, that video that I posted for you, uh, Yag. Let me see here if I find it. Did I post it for you? Where did I post that? Uh, maybe I posted it back there. Oh, the, um, the video the with the guy thing. explaining, yeah, how to. Yeah, I got it here. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So, uh, should I call you Dr. Argus still, or now it's Builder Argus? You can call me whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Doctor, Builder, Doctor, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so it's pretty easy. Let me see. Uh, so I'm in the I'm in the Theta app right now. Theta. And, on, and if I click on Watch, there's a number of streams running, and it doesn't matter which one I click on. It doesn't really lo it lo the only one I've gotten to load so far was very uh slow like it it buffered a lot so I don't know oh, what right. that's about you need you need the address of uh, the um the stream ID so, okay so I mean, yeah. wait so well but in the app there's a whole bunch of streams showing that you can just click on you know what I mean when like you go to the uh edge nodes discovery yeah. Yeah. In the Theta app itself, there's a watch menu, and there it's just like the front page of Twitch. There's just a whole bunch of different streams that you can choose from. So, so okay. In... So you have the node running then. Yes. I have the app running. Yeah. That's what I don't get it. So how do you get yeah. it running without the wallet? You don't need the wallet. You can watch without the wallet. The wallet is only like required for the, you know the. The crypto stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, get like, I actually yeah. found Jeff's stream in the browser window, and it's basically doing the same thing. I mean, yeah, I, I also I pasted that uh, token that you gave me, and it's going, mm -hmm. going the same yeah, way. That's, yeah, that's what I thought. Because I so, thought yeah. that you need the wallet in the node. Because mm -hmm. if you guys go to uh, cache compute, are those things enabled? I have them disabled. Because the I think the edge compute you can disable, but the edge cache I think you need to have that enable, because that oh, that edge edge cache is the one that actually um, cache the oh. streams and send over. Mm. Well, no, because I had it disabled. I remember I I was telling you that I was watching a NASA stream. Uh huh. 
on edge node and that was when i already disabled my cache but i'm gonna try enabling it and see if that yeah works. Says, i'm not sure like so this is decentralized streaming so is it is it are, can you only stream as much as your upload bandwidth will allow jeff i mean is it basically i, be, I believe so but you're not here, going through any central server kind of but thing? but here is the thing it's kind of like the way that I think that works, it's kind of like torrent, right? Mm -hmm. So gotcha. I, and that's why you guys need the, the software and the uh, edge cache, I believe. So what happens is the more people watching, it spreads the stream better, I guess. So I guess the less people watching, the harder it's going to be for the stream. Yeah. Yeah. That might be. Yeah. If it's like torrents, that's for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I just I I enabled cache, and um, it's still giving me the same like spinning thing. Because I can now. see um, I can see on. Can you? Yeah, can you take a screenshot and send me the screenshot of your how you have your node right now? Uh, like what it what the what your stream looks like on on node on the node app. No, no, no. How, how you're, um, uh... on my cache compute tab. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Just based on, um, uh, on discord. Yeah. So I think, um, uh, doctor, I think, uh, uh, it's a really interesting idea because if it's like peer to peer, there is no one entity that controls the stream, right? Like there's no way to take it down. Yeah. So if anyone is streaming, I don't know if uh, Theta has some sort of control. I, I guess they, they do have control because at this point, the only software that you can use to stream is their uh, edge node. I don't know if in the future, uh, other people will come up with other software that will uh, let people stream, but in some sense, it's kind of like there's no one that could control it yeah. if it wasn't only the app from uh, from Theta right now. Let's say if there is three or four apps, open source apps, that will let you stream Whoa. to this thing. I am so sorry for interrupting. Yeah. Uh, but the it just loaded. The stream? Yeah, on Edge Node. It just took a long time. Yep. And you have the cache enabled now or disabled? I have it enabled. And doctor, do you have enabled or disabled? I have it disabled and it's loading for me now. So, so maybe it just takes time. Maybe it's kind of like a torrent. Yeah. Maybe it yeah. had to get out through the network. Yeah. And now it's not buffering either. Unlike no. last time when it loaded. And yeah, it's pretty clear. So let oh. me, let me play something here. And let me see how long Definitely does it take. lag. Think? I mean, it's probably a 10 second lag, maybe. It still buffers a little bit. Like yep. sometimes, like it just does like little buffering skips, but uh -huh. it, it does load. So you guys can see me in the game already. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I guess after it gets loaded, it's not that bad. Let me try reloading the uh, the Theta TV. Oh yeah, there it is in Theta TV as well. So it just takes time. Or I can see here that there's four viewers. Maybe you need at least, um, I don't know, a couple people watching for you to be able mm -hmm. to stream, to be able to go around. Um, yeah. That that's the only thing I can think of. Let me see here, because uh, one second. Oh, and by the way, your audio is only like in the left ear. For me, mm, yeah, that's true. Do are you guys have the app muted? Oh, nope. It's buffering now. 
not buffering for oh it is buffering now no never mind so yeah uh, I, I guess i guess the problem with this thing is that you need people to watch like at least you need okay. to have i don't know four or five people every time to okay. start the stream because if i am the only one sending it depending where you guys live because i'm in san diego where where are you guys i'm in oregon russia <laughs> so yeah so probably my stream is going to the doctor and then going to yag or i don't know i think it showed up for yagic before it showed up for me true so i don't know but now it's buffering like yeah now it's like not crazy doing yeah well it's not buffering like crazy like it's it's, it's buffering stuck. for like a second every time oh it's stuck no, for you huh. for me i haven't had any movement since yeah for a minute well it's because i was well there's the grass that was supposed to be moving in the stream yeah, well, now it's not moving for me either. Yeah, I know that both the uh, both the app and the web page are uh, just have a you know spinner. <gasps> yep. Yeah. So one of the but that's crazy because I'm thinking one of the two you need to start streaming and have five people already watching it. Because if you don't, then happens like it happens to me tonight. It goes and, um, you know, it takes time until, and you guys are trying because we are talking about it. But imagine if it's just like a person that's going to watch something, it goes, look, and then it's buffering, then he just leaves. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't know, Kara. I, 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 I like the idea, but I'm not sure. It's still loading for you guys? It's still, like... Mm -hmm. Still buffering. Let me see my network here. I don't know. Performance. It's also interesting in the app. Um... What just happened? Theta Noob 20 is now following you. <laughs> um, who, in the who, app, who is following me? Theta Noob 20. That might be... Uh, there was this other person in your chat that was uh, talking about trying it out. Oh. Michael, I think. oh, there we go. Now the thing works. Theta Noob. Thanks, my um, friend. Thanks it, for following. In the app, there's a chat, a chat uh, window, but I've chatted in there, and that chat does not show up in the web page. So yeah, well, those are two different. Yeah, chats. this this and... is something that I noticed as well because if I go to the theta node, let me see where I have the broadcast, and I say something. So I'm gonna say something here. Let's say hello. I don't see it in. Then, in the edge but if we say something, Jeff's Jeff does see it, I think. So I my user in the theta node app is f s f a p u a s i g b and i'm just typing gibberish right yeah now. yeah that's but you can uh if you click there is a little pan so well i was going to show but you, you my stream but you, you cannot can see, see my gibberish. stream there is a little pen you can put any name in there i'm assuming yeah there, yeah but can you see it can you see the typing that i'm doing no i can see it. the only typing i see is the typing that i did uh, oh interesting the nickname in the app can only contain lowercase letters, numbers, and underscores. Yeah. Weird. All right, whatever. So what's the point of this? If we're, I mean, nobody sees anybody else's chat within the app. <laughs> it's kind of pointless. <laughs> like, I, I, here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. The uh, they released this was what? Two three days ago so it's brand new right yeah it probably there is a ton of bugs that are being worked out yeah i am assuming that in the future is going to be easier right mm -hmm. um yeah i mean I, I like the notion of it for sure i mean right because imagine I'll be honest i don't actually care about having twitch control <gasps> my stream because it doesn't it's not 
meaningful to me, but I get the, the theory behind it, and I, and I think it's kind of cool if they can make it work. Right, because, like, if you can stream and you don't have, like, a centralized server that could cut your stream or ban your account or that, just just for that thought, it's pretty nice. You know? Yeah, yeah, it, it is. And, I guess what I'm saying is I know I'm not going to do anything bannable, but... Right, right, right. But it's it's just, like, the fact... I mean, like, I can see how let, this let's say, uh, quite, the, the, quite the Wild West. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but imagine like uh, as far as uh, Doctor D- Disrespect, he got yeah. banned, and yeah. he doesn't at at least he's, he doesn't even know why that happened. Right. Yeah. So if he was using a platform like this, there's no banning. For sure. Yeah. It, no, I mean it's it's definitely got value in that way. I just I just have a feeling that if it becomes even remotely successful, it's going to be. <gasps> scary i, I you believe can see uh, on the what on the watch I... page there's already a couple of people that's a yeah uh, well, there's, there's another friend of mine that's and... yeah sorry there's, uh, there's another friend of mine that's uh watching too his name is chide, oh, chide uh, but yeah. he lives here in uh san diego um and maybe now it's gonna get better i still loading for you guys or you guys can see the stream yeah now? Uh, still loading Actually, let me ask him. Let let me. It's text not him. even showing your stream on the um, on the Discover page anymore. Oh, uh-huh. it was showing it there, but now it's not. On the um, in the app, on the Theta app. Yeah, in the Node app. Yep. Oh yeah, it's not showing your stream. Oh no, it is. I I see it. Oh, but I just refreshed the web page, and now the grass is moving. But but but. That is an older buffer. I just oh. found that out myself. Oh. I listened oh, to the audio. Yeah. Oh, okay. The old buffer. All right. Yeah, my friend just texted me and said that the stream is offline for him. For him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see if he's running the um, the node. This is something. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask. Let me Underground him. Patriot News Network. That's the kind of stuff you're gonna find. <laughs> <Yeah. in. laughs> oh, yeah. dude. That's who we're gonna find here. All the pandemic uh, yep. to planned riots to planned. Yep. All the uh, loonies are gonna be here. Yep. And Jeff yep. streaming his game. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, dude? Uh, you need to ru- to run Edge Node. And uh, there's some music streams as well, which is kind of weird. Like, I saw that too. It's great. I think uh, I think people there is a, a lot of streams like that where people just have like a music running or something repeating. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess I guess there's a lot of people just testing the network at this point. Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know how could could you um you know. <laughs> Uh, stream because of all these issues happening. The Discover page doesn't even tell you how many people are watching, but I, so I checked out that drum and bass channel. It had nine viewers. The NASA channel has 10. The NASA suppose... channel is coming in for me. Oh, oh, this might, but how many, how many, um, how many viewers do well, they have? Well, right on NASA. 12 viewers. But it yeah. Buffering. Oh, there you're back. You're back on the home page yeah. now. Let me see. Streams. Edge okay, streams. Nice. Yeah, I can see. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. And it's still not loading for you guys. Mm-mm. Well, whenever I load the um the stream. Yeah. It's yeah. showing me like an, a very old buffer of it, basically. Let me, uh, right here. This is what I see, uh, here in my screen. Let me paste on the Discord here. That. Hmm. Yeah, that's not what I see. And 
it never is but I'm assuming that it never stops for me because yeah I don't know you're, you're just yeah yeah it's literally just like you uh, yeah just you yeah but the the it's not going through any kind of a system right but uh, in the node um in the node yes but my node is just spinning let me take a screenshot of my my edge node uh oh, okay. my edge node is doing this where are you like you're gonna see just like and that's the chat that i posted there let me do a control v here so my node is kind of like stuck on that part mm -hmm. and sometimes it updates and yeah. on the website it never stops for me and what i'm thinking is the to show in a website at least it needs to go to the theta website and then comes back to me mm -hmm. right but then how is it that not stopping and you guys having all the craziness it's probably like crazy bugs um yeah at this yeah, point i think it's the platform you'd think they would have tested it with at least a few people <laughs> <laughs> well yeah, this is just kind of weird but yeah but we are the people <laughs> yeah no, i mean i think it might have should have been called edge node alpha not beta <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, it's all good. It, well, it does work, but because there is other streams going. That's the weirdest part, yeah. Can you guys, if you guys open other streams on the website or on the node, can you watch anything? Can Does anything load for you guys? Or nothing? I was able loaded? to get the NASA stream uh, yeah, to load. I'm watching NASA right about, now. About 20 seconds in, it was buffering for me. Um. I'm able to load into NASA. Um, yeah, so. Well, then, if. If the edge node is working for NASA, there's no reason it shouldn't work for you, so. Yeah, the only is... difference is that they have 12 viewers, and they probably are streaming for a while now. I have the drum and bass channel going now. And how many viewers did we have? Eight. Yeah, so you definitely need a couple of viewers then it seems like. What I don't get it is how does it how do you it's start great, great streaming? Great background music to listen to this chat to. <laughs> <laughs> drum and bass. Yeah, this channel seems to be pretty consistent. Like, I had one short buffer, but right now it's up to, it's like over 30 seconds ahead on the data. Yeah. What I was trying to figure it out is, how is it when you start, when there is no one watching? Yeah. Because that, that, that first, let's say first, second, and third person, like you guys, you guys are not, not even able to watch. You, you just go and go to another stream and watch whatever you can play. So how yeah. does it... I don't know. They have to be able to make it work with even one with one watcher. I mean... Somehow. And here's what I'm Otherwise, thinking. Gonna, you know, I don't know. I have one gig internet up and down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not that I am like missing speed or something, unless you you need a 10 gigabit internet, then forget about it. Right. Huh. I don't know. But do you so guys got at least like a couple seconds of the stream? Yeah. Of your stream? Yeah, we did. It worked for, worked for a little bit. <laughs> quite a bit, actually. I, I would say it worked for a full minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And now it's still like uh, not loading at all. No, not loading at all. I can, I can try to stop everything and restart and see if that does anything. 
Let's see. What just happened? Oh, doctor. Thanks for following it. Uh, do you guys want me to try stop everything and yeah. try to do it again? Starting. Yeah, sure. Okay. Let me um let me start here. This drum and bass channel has been been going well now for three Not minutes. for me. It's buffering really? like it buff yeah, it buffers every like twenty oh, wow. no, no, like every ten seconds. So it's definitely huh. based on distance. It's okay. definitely a torrent like thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let me uh let me stop the stream. Okay, the stream ended. Let me stop on OBS. Yeah. So I start OBS. Let me wait until the node. Okay, now I can see the node going. Now I go to the website and then you click start like in my um, my dashboard in the back. There's a button that says start edge stream. So click OK and then go live. Ooh, I have to restart the the um, the, the, the Theta Edge Node app because uh, it was still showing me the old buffer for some reason. So um, let's see. Okay, now the web page is trying to load the stream. Yeah, and the app as well. Not much luck though. <laughs> Let me see if I am still here in the. Yeah, Jeff Dev says that's in there. And says like four viewers on that thing. Yeah, the media could not be loaded. Reading frame. That's so frustrating. And your node's not even loading. Yeah, on the node, on on edge node, it says fetching string playlist, and it's spinning. So it takes a real while to like start the stream. Maybe that's why there's so many like 24/7 streams. Oh <laughs> yeah, the... that could be, huh? Because it takes it a, a long running. time. Yeah. Get all their data out into the network. Say, say yeah. that again. Uh, yeah. Why did he say that about the thousand streams? I, I think there's. I think that's the reason why there's so many 24/7 streams because like it takes a lot and a long time to actually start the stream. It could be. But what I don't get at this point is if you have zero viewers, like still, you oh, know, if the you... app for me now. Yep, it's running everywhere. Yeah. So it's Both. running now? So, so far. Let's, let's see if it's going to run. Yeah. And <gasps> you, you guys tell me when it stops. 19 seconds. <laughs> the guy streams for three hours and the viewers watch for 20 seconds. <laughs> That's a record. <gasps> but at least, oh, think, and by the way, thanks guys for helping me test this thing because I have so no something idea. Something I'm, I'm noticing about your stream is that it doesn't ever buffer more than five seconds ahead, but that drum and bass one was going in 30 second chunks. So I wonder what the difference is. Oh, true. I noticed that as well just now. Hmm. How many viewers the German stopped. has? It just the stopped. Had... Oh, never mind. It's coming back now. <gasps> yeah. The German bass one only had like uh, nine or ten. <gasps> huh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if the stream some... is staying pretty consistent for me, but it's never more than a few seconds away from stalling. It's stalling for me sometimes. Like it reaches the end of the buffer. Oh yeah, it reaches the end for me and then gets five more seconds, basically. Yeah, something. Every like time, that. so it's buffering out all the time. Well, I'm not, like I'm not having any actual buffering, buffering. Like it's not pausing, but it's only grabbing it in five second chunks. So now that you guys can see it, let me. Uh show my network so this is my network right here it looks like oh, it just it... it's sending like 15 megabytes out 17 now it picks like 3 megabytes 17 like every Very one strange. second it it sends huh. the stream out that's about the same like you would expect for a normal twist stream
Oh, looks like my friend just uh, is watching now. Let me ask him. Did it just stop? I think it just stopped. Still going for me. Or, nope. Yeah. It's buffering. Yeah. Yeah, it ended. Yeah, it's still going. I'm at 251 right now. Oh, it's going for you still, huh? Yeah. Look at those those peaks though that's interesting um yeah the edge cast app uh, looks like a, sent more data weasel. on my computer than hey weasel app uh looks like it's look he said that's uh running fine for him quality looks fine that's huh. really interesting because we, we are testing, oh. and so I have a friend in Russia okay. that's in Russia. Uh, where are you, doctor? Um, Oregon. Oregon. And I have another friend in San Diego. All of them, they were saying that uh, it's buffering all the time, and most of the time they could not watch it at all. There was oh, an error on the website, or it would not load at all, not even in the load or not even in the, uh, the node or the, the website. Hmm. Oh, wait, I just got to the to the part where you show your network uh, graph. Oh, really? Because that's been up there for at least a minute. Yeah, yeah. mine, my stream froze at 3 minutes 51 seconds. I had to reload the app, so <gasps> I don't know exactly when I am since the start of the stream. Yeah. So now, now I'm playing the game. Do you guys see me playing the game already? No, it's froze for me. I'm still on the network screen. The network screen came up at, let's see, two minutes, about 1.50. Yeah, we use, uh, you guys see the chat, right? The chat on the, the live stream. Can you see that? Uh, on the website, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. So we was saying that he's been watching for 15 and minutes. You oh, just you just got to the game. You just tapped out of the. Huh. The network. So it's working great for Weasel. It's frozen for me. Weasel, do, uh, where are you located? Uh, it's U.S. Uh, I'm assuming it's U.S. because I've been watching your streams pretty much every night. So I'm assuming you're U.S. East Coast. So yeah, I am West Coast. Is Weasel streaming on here on this data? Thing? Yes, but there is there is th that difference, right? Because now data is kind of hybrid. It's kind of Twitch thing where you can have an account, but you need to have a key to have an account. So then you can stream on the website. Yeah. But then who uh, the stream goes through a theta servers. The way that I'm doing is through uh, using the node, the edge node. Oh, so okay. that's the difference. And then so they do have a traditional streaming format as well. At this point, yes. I don't know if oh, okay. ever that's going to change. It may in the future be just edge nodes, but now they have a, this hybrid system. Yeah, interesting. Uh, I'm assuming. I uh, also have one gig up and down. And edge node has a good quality. Yeah, it's funny. I don't know because I have uh, I have fiber as well. I have one up and one down. It shouldn't be because if you have if you have one gig up and one gig down, and you cannot stream with that, I don't know who would be able to stream if that was the issue. So I'm thinking it cannot be that. It needs to be something else. I can I, I don't know. I can try. Uh, I, I don't know. Is it still uh, buffering for you guys? Oh, Weasel. You know what? Dude. Actually, Weasel has a good point. Mm. Thanks for the call. Uh, there's, there's power mode. There's different power modes on edge compute. Maybe if I put it onto full instead of light, maybe that would help. I think I think the or more you, you uh, if you do full, your computer is going to work harder. Yeah, 
it, it is gonna uh, load like it, it is gonna increase your load so it's so in the, um, mine it's in the title bar argus i'll try what? to push this in this stream right here so mine if i go to my edge compute it says light yeah i'm gonna try full i think the oh, more stay, oh stay light <laughs> mode okay <laughs> what is but, it what i mean does it do never, never go light unless you're going afk above light okay okay. okay that's what i was assuming yeah because yeah. the more you increase the power of the node oh, the more like you would the... be uh like oh, using your up. your resources that said it did load pretty much instantly once i loaded the stream on full put my full into what it too. yeah and now it's loading in, and now it's loading in like seven ah. second chunks so you put your node in full and now you can watch yes that doesn't make sense to me it doesn't make sense to me either, but that's what it is. Oh, I think it's gonna... No? Oh, no. It's still, still loading perfectly fine. Because... Oh, the... now it's buffering. Oh, never mind. Because... Okay, so there's yeah. still some frame skipping. Mine's in full and still not loading. Okay, now... Yeah, it's still doing some uh, jumps. I wonder if... Oh, mine still says light. Never mind. Because the way that I see is, the, the more it. power you yeah, give I, I to the did, node, the more it's going to use your CPU, so... I don't know. Unless if it, because there is the cache, does it affect the cache if you put like... Because there is the edge cache, cache jobs will be started soon as they are assigned. I'm not doing anything. Like well, right here. I have zero active jobs, which is weird. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, I don't know if Weasel can see it. Probably Weasel can because he said that's working fine for him. My edge cache here, there's no jobs. And I even have my edge compute off. I can try to turn it on. Let me try to turn that thing on. I got some video encoding, but this was done when I was watching during the day today was like 5 p.m i was watching stuff and i guess did these jobs i think there's some security mechanism that's preventing me from going into full a dialogue box pops up during restart but it doesn't stay long enough for me to see what it is so i don't know what's going on but i, I can't think it's full. i think i know what the dialogue box says for you because like it's supposed to um pop up when you change the the edge mode and it says that you need to restart uh, the you need to yeah, restart no, I mean, that one i'm i'm hitting restart it's when it when it actually does the restart that something comes up and then it goes away before i can do anything to it and then it comes back up and bites <gasps> again strange so shade oh, saying that know. now it's better well you guys can see the chat but and shade his name is his name is david by the way he is using a mac I don't know. Are you guys on PC or Mac? I don't know if there's any. I'm on a Mac. It does. Does. Shad, can you definitely can you check yours and make sure it actually says full? Because I definitely switched mine twice now, and every time it comes back up, it's back in light again. Okay. I, I think if you change to full, you need to close it and then reopen it. Yeah, yeah. That I am doing that. But, okay. Uh, but on the on the reopening. Something comes up and then goes away before the app gets open, and I don't know what it is. So I just noticed something. Um, when I when I started up in full, oh, never mind, it went back to light again. Yeah, that's what mine's doing. Okay, so that's broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need to restart it. Oh, okay, hold on, let me. Let me see. So I changed it to full. Now it's still light. Okay. Oh, right. Argus. You know what? I think I got it. But when you press restart on the dialog box that pops up, does it actually restart or do you have to restart yourself? Uh, it restarts after about two, three seconds. Okay, mine just fucking crashed. <laughs> 
and the drum and bass stream is still working well. Okay. So, so Weasel my, said that my... he's on light. I use Windows app. Okay, so my Thanks for watching me, dude. Crashed. I uh normally I'm coding, so I work right during the day until five and then after five when I get a couple hours or something, because I have a baby, a two year old. Um like after maybe nine or ten when she goes to sleep, I get a couple hours that I can be coding and sometimes that goes to like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. And I don't know when you started, but I keep looking at it. And when you come up, I watched it. And there was one day you were, I was still awake, like 1 o'clock in the morning, and you were still streaming and say, oh my God, how long this guy is going to stream for? And I'm assuming you, you worked the other day because I saw your, um, you did a like a Twitter that you got late for work or something like that. So I'm assuming you're, you're working. It's like, dude, this guy's going like late hours. <gasps> But yeah, it's crazy. And then I say, you know what? Now that I got these hours, like maybe I got like two or three hours at night that I'm actually coding now. I say, okay, now I'm going to start streaming again. And then I, you know, invite the uh, the guys that are in the Discord and say, hey, I'm going to try the, this uh, edge node again, this uh, the streaming again, and I will try the edge node. And then the guys now are helping me out to see if it works or not. Except Friday. Yeah, eight Weasel hours. Is a, Weasel is a mad person. He, he streams eight, eight hours, streams every, eight hours every day. Hmm. <laughs> that sounds crazy. <laughs> so you have two jobs. You don't have one job. You have two jobs. Because it's streaming for eight hours is insane. A lot. David's saying a lot of buffering. Tried, lied me. And full. Yeah, I don't know. I think I was I was going I was going to say it's just crazy. Like, you know, streaming eight hours, uh, it, it's just it's just. Insane. I mean, I've pulled I off remember, some I think, eight to ten hour streams, but I'm exhausted after each one. I don't. I couldn't do it every day. <laughs> I think the longest that I did, like when I was doing Twitch, how long was it? Is it? Do you guys remember, like five, six hours? Yeah, I think I so. Think six like six hours, right? I think those were the longest. And I remember when I did like a six hour stream. Oh my God, dude. Like I would be a zombie. I would take the headset yeah. and say, I I'm done for tonight. Yeah. Uh, I don't. And every day, less than eight. No one to yeah. raid. I'll keep going. My friends, during, okay. During Ludum Dare, I, I stream eight to 10, sometimes 12 hours partner day, grind out there, there you go. for two or three days. And then I don't do it anymore. So, you know, I'm wiped after that. Yeah. Yeah. And here is what like makes me sad. It's because like, I'm going to have to stream somehow, even though people are buffering, I will have just to keep going and streaming and streaming and streaming and streaming. Because like, I'm guessing at least if I get like four or five viewers, um, then if it works like a torrent, then it will be easier for other people to watch, right? That that's what I'm thinking. Because you think, yeah, so let's wait and see when they fix edge. Let's say I can just go and stream on wherever, like Twitch, go back to, to Twitch, right? And stream on Twitch and say, Okay, let's wait and see if they fix it. But if if it's not an issue, if it is the case that you need to have at least a couple of viewers to be able to help you stream, then if you never start and if you never stream, then never is going to work anyway. So that it's kind of like I don't know. I don't know, there's a thing in here, orange check mark doesn't mean anything to me. I'm a noob. Which orange check mark? The partner check mark on this platform is orange. Oh. 
Yeah, Weasel is a partner. Yep, yep. What's the color on, on Twitch? Purple. Purple. I don't know, because... And you know, you know, one of the things that kind of like... Okay. Oh, this also uses NFTs. Oh, this is cool. Weasel has a whole bunch of badges with, uh, um, with, with hash, hash tokens attached to them. Oh, and really? That's neat. Dude. Hey guys, cool. um, I have to go now. Oh, you're, you're living, Yag? Yeah. I'm going to be gone for like five days, unfortunately. So you pick, so it was a bit of bad timing oh. there. Thanks for uh thanks for stopping by and watching. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, it, dude. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Cause I had no idea if I'm doing something wrong or not. I guess I'm just gonna keep trying to be streaming and stream and I guess it eventually, you know, it's gonna work out. Yeah. So but yeah. thanks, yeah. Again, here's what I'm gonna do. I will yeah. stream. And then I will record it and then I will post on uh, YouTube or somewhere so you guys can watch it. Like I can put on YouTube as a uh, unlisted video and then you, mm. I just go into Discord and I, uh, I paste the links for you guys. And then, mm -hmm. you know, wherever if you want to watch until you guys are able to actually watch online, right? Does this thing um, use OBS also or do you broadcast from the Theta app? Yeah, I'm I'm using OBS right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and I was going. What I was going to say earlier that you guys are talking about the partners and stuff. Remember when I was streaming? What was what like two years ago when I stopped? And I I don't know. I had like a bunch of people now. Now I don't have anyone that follows me anymore. But one of the reasons that I stopped streaming on Twitch is that it, it's not that matters. Uh, um, like the, the amount of people you have, but it's kind of like when you have a goal and you want to reach that goal, it feels good when you reach it, right? So I was working towards that goal, but it was kind of like was personal, like I want to do it. So I was streaming, you guys remember every day, like, I don't know, four or five, yeah. six hours a day was the maximum that I was doing it. Uh, but I was saying like, I want to reach that goal. And then all of a sudden, they changed everything. Remember that they changed how you would be um, to be like a partner. You had to uh, fill up all these um, yeah. all, these yeah, things, the and, and I stuff, had yeah. pretty much everything done, like everything done. The only problem that I didn't have was I think they were asking for concurrent viewers. Seventy-five concurrent viewers. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So how, explain to me, on Twitch, there is like millions of streamers streaming all the time and you are doing development, writing code. Yeah. How, like, when I saw that I was streaming and of course I was getting tired of with the code and then Unity changed the, how they did like the entire like networking system, all that, you know. Um, so that burned me out and then uh, to rewrite my network code and then Twitch change on me on top of that. And then I look and say like, that's going to be impossible to be, to, to do it. And that kind of like, uh, burn me out and say, you know what? I need to, I need to stop. And then Jazz was pregnant, you know, and then we had the baby and then, but that's one of the reasons that I actually, I stopped there because I, I thought like as a developer, I'm never going to get 75 viewers concurrent like that's what how many viewers i was getting i don't know maybe like 20 30 like max 30. and that was it like and then streaming like i said it's gonna be impossible like if i was streaming a game maybe i don't know that was like a known game you have more people that watch but how many people go to uh twitch to watch uh development right it's it's very difficult yeah. I don't know. I At do, least that's what I, I thought. Follow, I follow a few developers who do, who are partners and who do have, you know, a hundred or more viewers. But uh, there's two things. One, uh, they stream during the day 
my time, so Pacific. They stream during the day, Pacific time. Uh huh. Um, streaming is part of their job. Like they're at work, but they can stream while they're at work. So that's another thing. The other thing is that uh, they have built up a community on some other platforms such as YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like they have a ton of subs on YouTube, and so those people naturally want to watch them do their thing live on Twitch. So that's that seem these days that seems to be the the general uh, advice is build up a community somewhere else and then tell them you're on Twitch because building a community on Twitch is next to impossible. And you know why I, I like theater so much? Because it's peer to peer. Let's say the note is peer to peer. If I'm streaming, let's say that everything works, everything is beautiful. You guys would not have, <laughs> let's say, you know, the loading and everything. That's like, to me, that's the best thing on Theta. Because if that's the case, there is no, like, like I said, like Dr. Disrespect just got banned and said, like, I don't know what they banned. Like, maybe he knows, maybe yeah. he don't, but yeah. he got banned. Now it's over. He cannot stream in there. Yeah, he can stream on YouTube, right? You but, know what, though? Even his friends that are still streaming on Twitch can't stream with him or they'll get banned, too. Are you kidding me? Nope. That's but do true. you guys know what happened? Do you? Does anyone know what happened? No. No one knows. And he had a contract with Twitch, right? It's wild. Yeah, he had a huge contract. Like, huge contract with Twitch. So imagine if a person like that... Well, I'm assuming that something happened. It may be that Twitch doesn't want to say anything because it would create more problems than, mm -hmm. you know, something happened. Twitch doesn't want to release that information, fine. But that's why I think that Theta is so much better because if it's peer-to-peer, -peer, as far as I understand, there's no banning. They may have control now that the only way to stream is with the uh, Edge node, the node Edge thing. But like I said, if someone develop an uh, app that lets you stream on the blockchain somehow, I don't know if that's even possible, but let's say an open source app that no one control, control it, excuse me, no one controls yeah. it. And yeah. now you're able to stream. There's no one that's going to take you down if that's the case, assuming that yeah. Theta has no, like if they would not, you know, ban you or something. So that's why I think that's so uh, promising, you know, the 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 blockchain streaming thing. <gasps> I don't know, but I I, yeah. I guess it, I, I I guess it's growing pains, right? Like they're gonna write the software. They you know even there's some um, issues with the, the website. You know, uh, there is. Uh, I don't know if you guys uh, navigate through the website on on Theta TV. Uh, sometimes it throws you to legacy. Sometimes it throws to uh, Theta TV, and some links you click it redirects you to legacy. So I think it's growing pains, right? Because they are moving the yeah. platform along and they are trying to build stuff. And I understand that I was a web developer for how many years working in backend servers, right? That's it. It's a slow process, right? Uh, Facebook doesn't get to be Facebook in one day. It mm. got to be Facebook, and then after years, it got all the features that it, it has now, right? But it took years to build all that features. It's not. So it's growing pain. So I'm assuming eventually it's going to be easier to stream with the Edge node. Uh, the Edge node now, the chat looks like it wasn't working for you guys. So probably it's going to be working in the future. There is no really much features on the app itself, I'm assuming. They're going to be adding those things in the future. So I guess it's just like a, uh, the waiting game, you know, need to wait until you get things more polished. That's pretty much what it is. Yep, I think you're right. But it, it's a very neat idea and I, and I like it. I, I always liked open source stuff. I am a programmer, you know, <laughs> like yeah. open source stuff to me is like best thing, but Michael out here. Thanks for the follow, dude. Made it. Is it Michael? Is it, it Michael? It is Michael. He did say that he was getting in. Yeah. 
Yeah. Dude, we are talking in a, a chat on Discord. I'm assuming you're on the Discord. By the way, uh, let me see if I can get the link if you guys want to... If Weasel, I don't know if Weasel is still there. Is there a way to see the viewers that are watching right now? There is. There is. I let think. me put my Discord in there just if you guys uh, want to uh, join. So let in the see. chat, if there's like three dots in the chat next to the smiley face. You click that and then uh, click three dots sense. in the chat. Okay, I'm on my uh, dashboard. Let me go to the front end here. Data dot TV forward slash Jeff Dev. The three dots next to the smiley face where you type your message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The three users dots list. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, and with that, I take my leave. Goodbye, gentlemen. Yeah, Thank you for the stream. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Let me find here, guys. Stay I'm here. gonna find. Um... Bye -bye. Yeah, I appreciate it, dude. Talk to mm -hmm. you in the Discord. Um, yeah. Let me see here. Do -do -do. Let me get. Oh, it's right here. Discord is right there. Why am I being dumb? Right hey. here. Did you see it? Like I'm fighting here to get this thing right there. You guys want to join wherever it's there. Oh, I cannot paste the link. Let me try here. I cannot paste the link. Do I need to do something? For what? I cannot paste the link on, on the chat. I don't know how it works, man. These new things. <laughs> well, Jeff, I'm going to head out also. Happy to be dude. part of the experiment. Um, Doctor, I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, no problem. Well, we'll, I, we'll you know, I'm going to tell you guys on the Discord whenever I'm going to be uh, streaming. Yeah, I, I tell you guys, and then you, you go and try it. So we can yeah, keep doing sure. this game. You know, we jump in on uh, Discord. You guys try it. I guess eventually it's going to work out. Hopefully. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cool. Well, have a go have a great weekend. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to uh probably streaming uh keep streaming and just going to tell the guys because looks like uh some people can watch it. So, I'm just yeah. going to explain to them what I'm doing with the game and I probably going to call it off cuz I'm being streaming for like 3 hours right now. And uh, some Man. viewers got 20 seconds of stream. <laughs> but that, that, that's that how you do sure. it uh, that's how you do it maybe next time you get 40 seconds you, you right. we get better it's all uh, part of the deal all right but yeah Take care. thanks dude i appreciate it thanks for right, stopping by bye bye, -bye. Man. okay so uh let me uh can i put a uh, music there we go you guys tell me if the music's too loud or let me know I have an eye on, on the chat. But here is the thing. Uh, if you guys did not know me, I um, I started this game. So I was playing with a friend of mine. It was 20, 2014 or 2015. We are playing Rust. And I say like, I love that game. I, I, I say, dude, I can make a, a game like that. I can make a game like Rust. So like, no, you don't. I said, yeah, I can't. Like, no, you don't. So you know how that goes. And so like, I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to make a, a game like Rust. Of course, wasn't like it. Uh, so I started in 2015 working in this game. And the idea in the game is that it's going to be like a mashup of games, right? So it's going to be things that I like between Destiny, uh, what was Destiny, that other game um, that you have like dinosaurs that you need to, um, uh, what's that game? Damn. Survival. Survival of the Fitness. That, that one? That one, Destiny and Planet Side. 
So what I was, what I'm going for from Destiny is like the, the Destiny number one, where you had um, just the primary, secondary, and the heavy weapon. Very simple, right? I don't want to do like a Tarkov that you have like every single thing you need to put it, right? I think that's fine, but that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for, I want a very simple primary, secondary, and heavy. That's it. And then that's what I'm doing for the, the weapons that I'm bringing kind of like from this thing, right? So if you go here, uh, where do I have my weapons here? So like right here, you have the heavy ammo, you have primary, and you have secondary. And that's it. So you have these weapons are primary weapons. And then you have like sniper weapons that are uh, secondary ammo. And then you have he uh, heavy that probably will be, you know. Uh, so that. And then the other thing I want to bring from Destiny is kind of like the, uh, the Cryptarch. You know, when you're playing, you get an encrypted item. And then you bring to the Cryptarch and then you, you get an, an item or something. So I want to do some sort of uh, encrypted items where you're playing the game, you get the encrypted item, and you go to a table where you need to research or something. I think, I think something similar. I think uh, Rust had something similar that was the uh, research table, but I'm I don't know if it, that's exactly the same. Uh, that what I'm doing because I think the research would be researching for blueprints, right? As far as I remember. Uh, but the, this encryption will be for you would get an item without having the blueprint per se if you got a drop that was really good drop um, you didn't even have to have the blueprint to uh, to do you could not build another one but you could have that item right another thing that I want to do in this game is I want to have I don't know how many but I want to have a couple of slots on your inventory that you could place things that you would not lose it, right? So um, let's say I have a weapon and I'm upgrading the weapon because uh, right here, if you go here, uh, this is just a mock-up how kind of like the interface is going to look, uh, but you can see like uh, reload speed, like recoil, right? So those things are things that you could upgrade your weapon and I don't want to, as a player, I don't want to be upgrading my weapon and that's going to take forever. And then all of a sudden I die and I lose that. So I want to have a couple of um, slots here that you will not lose it. Maybe the, maybe the entire action bar, right? Maybe the entire action bar in the bottom here, we just say, okay, you don't lose your stuff that you have there, right? And then everything else, you lose it. So that's something. Uh, so that's from, from Destiny. It's kind of like that idea from Destiny. From um, from the um, Ark, from Ark, the, the dinosaur game. Um, what I want to do with that is... Um, so in Ark, you have that... Uh, you guys probably play that. But you, 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 can, uh, you get a dinosaur and then you can tame the dinosaur, right? So it's pretty much that, but instead of taming dinosaurs, you would be, uh, in my game, would be the same thing, but just a different name. Would be like, you would be uh, doing it with robots. So you would uh, upgrade the firmware or hack the firmware of the robots because normally the robots would be your enemies in the game, right? And then you would go to the robots and you could destroy them completely for parts and then you could get like wire, battery, whatever, CPU. Cause I'm thinking that it's gonna be a fake, uh, in this game it's gonna have a fake um, uh, blockchain, right? But it's fake, it's not for real. It's just, at least now it's fake. So it's gonna be a uh, um, fake blockchain where you would be building your computers so you kill the robot, you get memory, CPU, all that stuff. You put a server together and that server is going to be mining for that fake crypto, right? And then you would have solar panels to keep running your uh, mining rigs, that stuff. And then the robots, 
if you don't kill them completely, you could override the uh, the firmware. So in that sense, what would happen is you could get that robot to be uh, to go and farm for you. Let's say I need wood. You would put a brand firmware on the robot, and then the robot will get resources for you. Right? You go to the robot and say, "Go get me wood," or "Go get me rock," and you could send like 10 robots and they would go grab it and put it wherever you told them to put it in a, you know, in the chest or something. So, or you could uh, put a different firmware that he would be doing like a patrol around your, uh, around your base. Like in, uh, like this is pretty much like rust, right? This uh, buildings right here that you can, you can do. So the building is, it's very, very similar. So, you would put all the building and then the robot, you could set the perimeter for the robot and the robot will be walking around. It's kind of like a turret in, in Rust, but this would be a robot walking around, right? And so that's the idea kind of like from Ark that I like. I really like that idea for, for from Ark, but I like robots and I'm a nerd. So it would be Transformers type of robots, right? And then the idea from uh, Planet Side, I don't know if you guys ever played Planet Side, but um, Planet Side is where you have uh, areas and you need to control those areas. So you need to hold the area. People are going to try to come over, take that area, you know, and if you lose it, you lose it. And then their territory increases. So this game, would work that way uh, where you would um, have areas that it's not controlled by anyone to begin with it just has a server in the center of it right so in the center of that area you would have the server and then you would hack that server you would have to create a cipher or something in your inventory you would put in there and then you would hack it right and we'll take a little bit to hack it uh, maybe, I don't know, 30 seconds, you know, you keep like doing something in there and then you hack it. As soon as you hack it, your group owns that area. So if you keep going to the area next to it and you hack that server, now the territory of your group becomes bigger, right? Because one thing that I don't like in Rust I know that some people like it, some people are okay, and that's the game. But I feel that when I'm playing Rust, if I, uh, if I, if I have my house, and someone comes and breaks my house, I feel that's very personal, and I feel that that person is being mean. Of course, I know it's the game. It's like Jeff is the game. Yeah, it's the game. But it feels like why? Like why you? At least this is the way that I see it. Okay, my, my opinion, like, why are you breaking my stuff? You know, like, maybe I just started the game and then I work like two or three days with my friends to build something. And then all of a sudden I go to play the game and everything is destroyed. Back, back in the day, you know, I remember playing and it was like so sad to come back and everything was destroyed. And that's the game, right? But it's kind of like bothers me a little bit. So this game would be, you would be, um, creating these areas where you would uh, own the area, right? And then the more you grow your area, the more the, let's say, the, the, the hardcore players would be playing far away from you. So let's say if you have a house in the middle of a huge area, the people here in the middle would be like a casual players, right? You can just go there, you're gonna be crafting things, you're gonna getting resources, and you wouldn't be sending those for the people that are in, in the front lines, like in, you know, the hardcore ones that wants to fight and everything. So it would be a gameplay for the two types of players. The, the, the players that are, are like myself, I like sometimes just to go and play to relax, just to craft something, build something, grab some resources, send over to the people that need it, right? So that will make the central areas more casual players and then the areas where 
there's people trying to attack you, it's gonna be like far away, and that's where the the action will be happening. Let's say the the, the rust action where you're like fighting and, and everything, right? Um, Michael, man, it's been so long. I know. Sorry, I just saw your chat here. On the VPN, I'm very slow right now. It's like like crazy. Like to see you back. This is awesome. Yeah, Michael, thanks for stopping by, man. If you're leaving or uh, or if you're staying, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Like I told Can you guys. Me? Yeah, are you there? Oh, cool. Yeah, hey. Hey, man, how are you doing, dude? There we go. Pretty good. Nice to see you back. It's been like so long. Yeah, just to let you know, you, you, your voice is in the uh, stream, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's totally yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, let me just to finish. So yeah, so then you will have, you know, um, people that would be playing in the middle that would be more casual and then people in. That's the idea for the game. And I've been working in the game since 2015. I worked for two years. And then I stream pretty much all most of it. Like Michael is there, like all the, the, the guys that used to watch me on Twitch, they are in the Discord channel. Uh, and then I stopped streaming and now I'm trying to, to go back to it. Right, Michael? Yeah, I used to stream a lot. Yeah. I, 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 I used to stream every day. I, I remember like in the beginning was like every day. And then after a while, I think I started streaming maybe three times a week. Or something like that. Uh, I, I'm not sure, but I think it was. Yeah, it was definitely uh, almost every day for a long time there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was like, I think I was like 17 at that time. So you're 19 now? I, maybe I wasn't 17. It was like, all I remember was a long time ago, like 2016, maybe. It, it even. was, uh, so we are 2020. I think I stopped streaming, I think was, yeah, end of 2017, maybe beginning of 2020, right? I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how you been doing, man? What are you doing all this time? School, uh, working? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I never went to school. I actually dropped out of high school, right? Uh, really? But the whole time when I was watching you guys always work on your game, Mm-hmm. Uh, I was just coding on the side. I never got too much into game dev, but I, uh, about a year and a half ago, I finally moved across the country and got my uh, software engineering job. So, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool, dude. That's very nice. And are you working still working there? Same thing. Yeah, still still there. Uh, and and pretty... what do you do? Do you write code every day, or uh, it's more? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a lot of back end stuff, uh, like distributed systems engineering. Mm -hmm. like, I yeah, use a lot cool. of like Docker and Kubernetes and mainly Java. Oh wow! Well, oh, Java is crazy. Java, oh my god, no! Are you doing Java? Yep. Oh wow! Java is crazy, dude. Wow, it's big. There's a lot of big companies that use Java. That there's no way to get away from Java. Like if you're working for a big company. But yeah, it's a lot of uh, really old Java code sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the problem. Yeah, it's crazy because I remember I was just starting out programming pretty much when you were streaming. Mm -hmm. I was watching, mm -hmm. and, like you were always available to answer questions, so I was pretty cool. And helpful. I appreciate <laughs> that, and it uh, paid off because now I have a job. Really, that's crazy, yeah. dude. That's awesome to hear. Yeah, like I don't mind, dude. Like I love to be programming and coding and. You know, if I can help, like, why not? You know, I don't know. I guess depend the streamer. You know, some streamers, they don't like to answer questions or they, I don't mind at all. Yeah. <laughs> I remember there was one streamer at the same time that would stream. He would ban people who would ask questions. It was so funny. You kidding me? I yeah. didn't. I, I, that's crazy. Like, I don't. Because, like, let's say, let's say, wherever. Let's say you ask a question and I don't know. I'm going to tell you, I don't know. Because I, I, I don't know everything, you know? Like, I'm not streaming so like, oh, I'm the best programmer. Like, there's things that you don't know. Even, like, after 30 years, you're not going to know everything, no matter what it is. I, I, I'm completely okay in saying, like, hey, I don't know that. I can Google that for you, but, you know, I can go and Google it, but I don't know out, out of my head. But, yeah. um, 
it's crazy can you let me ask you this can you see this the, the stream uh well or is it buffering for you uh right now it's buffering but it might be because i'm my internet's really slow right now mm -hmm. um, but when it was not buffering it was like high quality and everything so sounded oh good really too. yeah wow Yeah, yeah I'm wondering if it's my internet or if it's just um, maybe they need more people running the. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you, if you heard me because if the stream was like going in and out for you, um, is it is, uh, buffering now or no? Oh, let me refresh it. Yeah, it's like it's like what keeps happening is. If I refresh the page, it starts at the same point I was just watching, and then starts buffering again. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Yeah. I here's what I'm uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna keep start streaming. You know, like these couple of hours that I have every night. I don't know if you heard me earlier, but I'm getting now like in a point where I have like a couple of hours at night. So I'm thinking I'm gonna start streaming again, and even if it's a couple of hours and I told the guys I told Yag I said hey I'm gonna stream and I will record it I will upload to YouTube I know that's not the same as this you know live stream but if you guys want to watch it it's gonna be there you know until yeah, yeah. they figure it out all the issues with the node or the loading and because I don't think it's my uh, it's something that I can fix it you know I have like a gig up and down so and some streamers came and said like oh the stream was really good for them and i don't get it some people was uh buffering you know yeah so i don't know this is pretty new too right one of this yeah. come out. oh yeah this just came out uh last week like oh wow yeah so it's crazy it's crazy i think i'm probably gonna like i can stay in the uh in the discord and we can talk a little longer but i probably gonna stop the stream because at this point we kind of already tested everything that we could test and i'm just gonna uh, keep streaming and hope that it's gonna be better every time hopefully you know yeah yeah i'm sure it will get better over time right and as more people use the uh like Post their own edge nodes. Only that, yeah, that's what I was thinking because if this <gasps> thing works as a torrent, the same way that torrent works, then the more people you have torrenting a file, the faster it gets to you because there's more bandwidth that it can pull from. So I'm assuming that that will be the same for the stream. If there's a tons of viewers and you get one more, that's going to be a lot of bandwidth that you can pull from these other people for you to get yeah. the stream. I don't know how it's going to be the latency with that because I remember on Twitch you had maybe like three or four seconds and that was always that way, right? You had three or four seconds that if you said something in a chat, I would reply to you, but to you, it would feel that I'm replying to you. Maybe, I don't know, excuse me like five seconds after yeah. and I, I don't know how much the delay would be here on on theta tv i think it was not too bad because when i hopped in and said hey uh it was like less than five seconds i think really yeah so it's not too bad yeah if it's five seconds it's pretty much like twitch yeah you know yeah. let me i'm just gonna uh say goodbye here in the stream and uh, I, I'm probably gonna keep my audio on um, Discord so we can keep talking. And there's a bunch of stuff we need to figure it out. I was trying to uh, post a link in my own chat and I couldn't, so I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. Uh, but yeah, I think, thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna record this. I'm gonna put it on YouTube and I hopefully, uh, hopefully I see you guys soon. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, let me stop the stream.